Wow. That's a lot of fire from the Eagles head coach after that win. I didn't hear the preamble to the I only heard the last part. See ya. I didn't hear the beginning part till just now. Huddle up. Welcome to Bird's Huddle, powered by PointsBet, a fanatics experience. Barrett Brooks, Michael Barkan, with Chiefs fans blasting him. Nick Sirianni responded in kind. Any issue with A, what he said, or B, that kind of display? If this was who he was at the beginning, and he's still that, that's just who he is. His team is playing for him, so it doesn't matter what we think. It all matters about well, everybody in that locker room, the guys he goes to war with, the guys that he's with 90% of the time during the day. That's all he needs to worry about. That's all I'm worried about is how those players play for him and they play their butts off for him. Yeah. You, you know what? The players aren't the only competitors out there. Right, the, right. There's the coaching exactly. staff. There's the equipment people. They're all competitors. Exactly. They all want that team And, to and win. he wants to win, and he wants to win that bad. Now, I could see if he, was, he wasn't doing this before, and now all of a sudden he's 9-1. and one. Now he's doing that. No, he showed his behind like that last year, this year, and that's what he is. That's what he is today. Sirianni, coach of the 9-1 Eagles, asked if he's worried at all about the team avoiding becoming overconfident. It's the bird's eye view presented by Ocean Casino and Resort Atlantic City. I think there's a difference between confidence and 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 like overconfident cockiness. All those different. There's a difference in that. Like it's good to have confidence going. It's good to believe in each other. It's good to believe in the team. But we also know that believing in ourselves and believing in this team is a product of the work that we put in. Not only in the past, but more so about the work we're going to put in this week to get ready for this game. That and so I think there's a big power that there is in belief in belief in each other when when you believe in somebody it takes it, it you know it takes the guy to a to another level you coach to player uh, player to player uh, player to coach and so that's a powerful thing but um but we also know what goes into to making that belief happen and that's the work that you put in week in week out <laughs> Time for Barrett's three-point stance. It is a little over the top, but I still I kind of liked it. Number one, Nick Sirianni should be coach of the year. Think about it. He loses both coordinators. There's a lot of talk of a potential Super Bowl hangover, but all this guy does is win, and we're talking win at an historic level. No question. The historic is, is, is probably downplaying a little more. Look at John Madden. The, this, they have the top winning percentages. Uh, with, with teams over 30 games? Look, John Madden. He's up with John Madden and Mr. Vince Lombardi as far as winning percentage. Yeah. 72% of the games, it round up 73% of the games, he wins? Yeah. Come on now. I mean, that just goes to show he's talented. He knows how to get along with his younger generation. He vibes with them. I mean, uh, hell, he's one of them. So, yes, I mean, do I have a problem with him yelling and stuff like that? I hope it doesn't bite him in the butt when they play him in the Super Bowl. But at this point, he knows what it is to get those guys in that locker room going. That's all I care about. You know, you talking about him being coach of the year. He should be because there's no sneaking up on anybody right now. They snuck up on some people last year. They snuck up on Detroit. They snuck up on uh, Minnesota Vikings. They snuck up on a couple of teams. There's no doing that right now. He knows that they are the hunted. They are the hunted. There are teams out there that circled that Eagles team when the, when the schedule came out. Yet and still, they're 9-1. and one. Should be 10-0, and 0, but they lost a game to a team that's inferior to them because they didn't cross the T's and dot their I's. So they know what it takes to, to, to make sure they do that. So they won't do that anymore. John Madden, Vince Lombardi, and Nick Sirianni. Come on now, Are you that. kidding me? That's crazy. Then what the Coach of the Year award, wait till that happens. It's the Sirianni Coach of the Year award. <laughs> that's, that's where he's going. Number two, all Jalen Hurts does is win. He's 28-3 and in his last 31 regular season starts. He's won 13 in a row against teams with a winning record, the best mark among any quarterback ever. He's also won seven straight when trailing by 10 or more points, Barry. This guy is insanely good. Well, you know what, and, and I love the fact that I just can't get it out of my head. The main thing is the main thing. 
And the main thing for Jalen Hurts is always working on his craft, being the best version of himself he can be. And his focus is almost impeccable. You know, the belief that this team has in him and his ability. You look at him, it doesn't look like, you know, he has any emotion when he's out there on the field. He's emotionless. But that team knows that they can rely on Jalen Hurts to give everything that he has to make sure that they win the game. And that's what, you know, that's what they do. They bought into Jalen Hurts. And I love the fact that, you know, the way he plays and the confidence that he has, that the team is almost overflowing with the team also so yes that main thing is the main thing and he shows everybody what he's do he's capable of i mean what just they were nine and one at this point last year nine and one come on yeah now. son come of a on, coach now. coach on the field and they play for him as well as with him yep. number three josh allen is still dangerous another week Another top quarterback on the schedule. First, Dak Prescott, then Patrick Mahomes, now Josh Allen. He's turned the ball over this season a ton, Barrett, and his offensive coordinator fired two weeks ago. But the Eagles can't take him lightly, can they? Well, I mean, there's no such thing as taking anybody lightly, especially a guy like Josh Allen. I mean, he's one of the most talented uh, quarterbacks in the league. He's getting paid like one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league. He just, you just don't know what version of him you're going to get. I hope we get the version that we saw in those losing efforts. Uh, you know, the undisciplined quarterback that, you know, maybe throws into double coverage or runs when he's not supposed to or gets hit and fumbles the ball. That version of him, I love. But I also see the version in which he goes to Diggs. I see the version he goes to Kincaid. I see the version where he hands off to Cook. Those versions of him, I do not like. But do we have the team that can beat him? Yes. Do we have a defense that will be better suited to play him as opposed to earlier in the year? Yes. With, you know, with our guys, with Roby being back, they're coming back now, then, you know, the two corners, Bradbury and Slay, I'm very supremely confident that they'll be able to play at a high level against him and keep him under wraps. Absolutely, but make no mistake, he is an elite quarterback in the NFL. As we continue, we open the playbook. And Dave Zingaro joins us in the Birds Lounge on the other side. Could the Eagles be in the market for former All-Pro linebacker Shaq Leonard? He cleared waivers. How much more could he help the Birds? And we've got a full slate of Thanksgiving games that could impact the Eagles. Will they get any help with an upset tomorrow? We'll discuss. Birds Huddle is powered by PointsBet, now a fanatics experience. Check the app every day from 6 to 9 p.m. for PointsBet's Power Hour to claim your exclusive offer. PointsBet, now a 